Hello. So I'm doing testing with these videos. You'll notice that I've tried a couple of angles um, and I've tried YouTube and I've been playing with Facebook and Hi. <laughs> there's our Angel hey. Giovanna who's going to be the star of our very own video in a little while to do her hair for her fairy inspired hair by Giovanna page. But now she's awake during mommy time, so she's gonna go draw her picture of what she wants to find in her day. So go do it so we can talk about it. Um, and so, I, so I've been testing, a, I'm, I'm gonna put this video on Facebook again. And then the next test I wanna run is Facebook Live, which will require me to um, be able to have an active debit card <laughs> so I can update and add the Facebook app on my phone. Um, because I, I do this thing where I, t I remove it all the time. Like I put it on, I take it off. I just find that it's nice to not use my phone for Facebook a lot. And, um, if I find myself doing that, then I'll just remove the app. And I did that. And then, um, a, a automatic payment went through my bank account that I, um, had tried to stop and then it overdrew my account. And so I haven't had the money to put back in there quite yet, but... That will be rectified very soon and then I will be able to test Facebook Live. And today is what I would call a low vibration day. Um, and it's just starting out that way. It's, it won't end up that way, but I'm just like acknowledging that this morning it's a low vibration day. And the reason it's kind of a low vibration day is because I didn't sleep very well. I felt like I was tossing and turning and then when I was asleep like my mind was just racing on all these things that didn't really need to be solved or done anything with it just felt like either the universe was doing a lot of work on my body or my mind was racing like it used to and so then you say why did that happen Nicole that's what I say well it happened because for whatever reason which I, I think it's, I'll explain though why I think it happened um, after. I'll tell you what happened first. Um, I ended up eating a Royal Farms like Italian cold cut sub um, and a couple French fries. And then I asked myself this morning, Nicole, why did you do that? You don't even like meat, you know? You're doing this like vegan test. Um, you know, why, why did you do that? And I think it is because it just was like, um, one of those like programs that was still kind of running that I didn't necessarily like decide to interrupt, obviously, so I could see it really clearly where I celebrated things with food. <laughs> and I just remembered, I remember when I was pulling up, I was getting gas and I w had no intention of eating there. I was going to go to Panera and I was going to get a vegan salad there. And, um, and I just remembered how good those subs used to taste. <laughs> and I was like, I think I, I deserve that. That's what I said to myself. I think I deserve that. And you know what I got in return? A very unrestful night of sleep, a belly that's like, blah, uh, it just totally destroyed my stomach. Um, even as I was eating it, it didn't even taste good. I was like, Oh, this is so awful. I can't, why am I eating this? Um, it was really cheap. You know, that is the benefit of all process, no food. <laughs> um, and even right afterwards, I was like, I felt awful. I just felt my energy get sucked out of me. I felt tired. Um, you know, I, I knew immediately low vibration, you know, you can pick up food. And when you pick up something that is alive, you'll notice that it feels alive when you touch it. If you actually pay attention to how it feels and when you pick up something that is dead and or not food, which bread and you know, all these processed things that don't grow on earth. These are not, this is not food as my friend Lucky Charm graciously has taught me and my, my daughter. Um, you feel the difference. And so, yeah, it's just like sometimes I guess I need to experience that difference of what it feels like to be 
in this where my body is in this kind of low vibration state, which essentially means that it's in an, uh, what I think is happening is I just put my body back into an acidic state. And I've done this Wim Hof method. Uh, I haven't started testing it yet, but I've been really focusing, on, uh, not focusing, but just noticing breath a lot more. And so I think I've gotten myself really close to that kind of alkaline state that he talks about. And then, you know, I just introduced <laughs> crap into my system. You know, chemically, I'm, I can come up with a great analogy for that. What I just call is just not food. And then, um, you know, immediately noticed um, a difference. And I mean, even today, I feel dehydrated. I feel um, my skin is puffy. My eyes are puffy. I woke up, my eyes were actually completely jet, like blood red. I had to put eye drops in them just so I didn't look like a vampire or something. So yeah, so this is a fun little adventure. So we started out the day this way. So what'll be important for me um, is to um, just allow however my body feels, but also um, look to things that will make it feel better, which is awesome because today is, uh, I am scheduled to go to Baltimore to see my good friend, Tom. I don't know how to say his last name. I think it's Ignan. <laughs> I'm totally butchering this. I've never tried to say his last name, nor have I ever asked him how to say his last name. So I'm not gonna um, further butcher his name, but he's at Charm City Integrative Health and he's incredible. Um, he's uh, helped me with my stroke recovery um, and including he actually was the one who was able to resolve. I, afterwards for like two weeks, I had this heaviness to my left side. Um, it was just like, you know, when I was lifting my arm, it just felt heavy. Um, my legs, same thing. He was able to resolve that in two acupuncture sessions. So very grateful for him. Um, and and he, um, he does it because he's my friend, you know, like, and that's what I love the most about people is when um, you just see love and compassion for people. And that, you know, he doesn't have to help me. He knows I, you know, can't afford his services as much as I would love to be able to pay him in full. Um, and he does it as a gift. And I um, also, you know, return the favor to him and giving him, you know, energy sessions or, um, you know, whatever makes sense. You know, like if sometimes like, you know, what's going on with this business, we talk about that and, um, and it's great. And I just like, I love those kind of friendships. And this is something I was actually talking about. I have a lot of um, male friends and, um, and I, I sometimes wonder why I have so many male friends. I think it's just the universe sends me men <laughs> and, um, you know, there is an assumption from some that I, you know, sleep with all of these men. I think sometimes it can be a challenge for their wives to understand why we spend so much, why we spend time together. And I, the only way I can answer it is that you know I really enjoy helping people, and um, men um, tend to um, and confide in me and what is kind of going on on the inner side of them, and. Um, sometimes, you know, it's like something they're working through and I help to, um, I just help them frame questions, you know, the questions that ultimately uncover what it is they're looking for or their own true question more often than not. And then other times they call me for business advice. <laughs> you know, I got a call yesterday. It was awesome. It was like the, my favorite part of the day was one of my um, male friends called and wanted advice on, you know, how to um, handle a client situation. I was like, yeah, gosh, I just love it. I love business. I love helping people. I love p seeing people, you know, like really achieve their own greatness. You know, Lewis Howes has a school of greatness and I've been like, uh, I've been watching this podcast. You could honestly say it's almost a little obsessive, um, but I just have loved it so much. I've just like continued and like gone through many of his podcasts now. And he has this school of greatness. And, you know, I think each of us 
inside. The talk is for real. It's because she got money and she, they're not going to pay her. What are you talking about? Nothing. <laughs> I love you so much. Um, and I don't know where that came from. That's so funny. Um, there is a situation that um, must have translated where I'm being paid later than is expected for a client project. Um, but I am getting paid, which is nice, so I'm grateful. And all things happen in the divine right timing, I know that. And we're just fine. Um, so anyway, this school of greatness, you know, I think we all are in our own little school of greatness. All of us, already. <laughs> can say that we want to enter the School of Greatness, but we're in it right now, every day. Mommy, look at this school from Halloween. Oh yeah, Buddhist yeah. mandalas. Um, Let I, me see. I, I'm starting this. Oh, beautiful. And then there's actually a meditation one. Really? Yeah, look. Now you remember you said you wanted to leave right med- here. Oh yes, ASAP. Nice. Well, I think it's beautiful, and if you want, this is, I don't know how to say this name, but um, uh, it's the um, Bhagavad Gita of compassion. He radiates self-sacrificing love, denying himself entry to nirvana until all others can enter as well. So he basically says, I'm not going to enter heaven until everyone can enter heaven. That's beautiful. What a beautiful project for this morning. Um... So yeah, we're all in our own school of greatness. You know, that's a, that's a great um, moment of that, right? You know, sometimes as parents, I think we get like, oh, you know, I'm doing something else. And what I'm doing is, you know, more important or don't come and interrupt me. And I'm like, come interrupt me. <laughs> come on over. Tell me what's on your mind. You have a question? Come on over and ask me. Because I think those are great opportunities to understand What's happening in your child's mind? God, it's such a beautiful thing. Their minds, they have access to such infinite wisdom. I think sometimes we don't give them enough credit for everything that they really know. So I love learning from them. So that's one of the things I'm doing, I guess, in my school of greatness here. And I already, you know, just having this conversation, the reason, one of the reasons I do this is because I just never know what I'm going to talk about. But whatever it is, it always seems to be the um, perfect way to kind of ensure my day starts off with a high vibration. Is by looking myself in the mirror and just saying, what are you thinking about, honey? What are you thinking about? What's going on inside that head? What needs to be released so that you can move on? Mommy, look at this photo. Oh, I color that. that. I actually color that for you. Wow. I'm going to show everyone in the video. Look at what she colored. It's beautiful. And I love that it's a tree. I didn't color a tree. Well, this is a tree. When you finish coloring it, you'll see. Yeah. See, the, all the leaves look like hearts. And then this is the tree. Yeah. It makes a big circle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so I'm going to get some acupuncture today, um, and what I love about Tom, too, is I always say, give me the crazy, give me the stuff that, like, you're scared to tell people you know how to do, <laughs> because there's this whole side of acupuncture that's based on spirituality, and, you know, um, I've learned so much about energy and how it affects the human body, and all the different planes of energy and acupuncture just opens the gateways to the ethereal plane which is essentially the spiritual plane and man I think I would say that the number one thing that I has contributed to my current exploration of the question am I a superhero if I were to look at like superpowers specifically, I would say that Tom probably unlocked <laughs> my superpowers with acupuncture. He did a specific acupuncture session and then all of a sudden I started getting energy in my hands. So it's like he connected some piece that was 
quite prolific and awesome. So thank you, Tom, for that. He's incredible. Um, and also I do hyperbaric there. It's 90 minutes. Um, and I really probably should be doing that every day. Um, but the drive back and forth to Baltimore is just a little too much for me. Um, but that is uh, very helpful for blood clots um, and stroke. And so I, um, that's a, a key part of my recovery. And then hopefully if we have time today, I'd like to do cryo again because, oh, yeah. Oh, more, look at that. She's got both birds now. Beautiful. Yeah, they did it. Anyway, um, I'm just starting to actually snap. You did. She learned how to snap this week. It was so, so Gia just... Mom, I made a bit of system. Nice. That's so good. Good practicing. She um, loves to learn. And so this week, however it showed up, she was like, I want to learn how to snap. And in the bathroom, we were doing her hair. And she started, you know, barely getting a little sound. And then by the end of the week, you heard it. She's all on snapping. And that is one of my favorite things about her is that she just loves learning so much and she just has the tools and the mechanisms to do it. We've really created a great framework and, um, and I love it because it's the same way I learn about myself. It's the same like method that I use. I've taught her and I just love that. It's so, it's like so like um, easy to implement and integrate that, you know, my five and a half year old daughter um, has already answered the question of am I a superhero for herself? And it's a clear resounding yes. And every day she tests her superpowers and sees where they take her. And it's awesome. And I think it's really cool that, you know, as a kid growing up, knowing you're a superhero the whole time, never questioning. It's really cool. So I think it's a beautiful way for a child to grow up. If there has to be something, why not let them pick? And she picked superheroes. So, um, so I did close a project yesterday, so I was excited about that. Um, and I'm gonna start writing here on that project soon. And I really have found my kind of passion again around marketing is about making people feel really good. Look at this. Oh, let's see what we got. Wait, oh. like right on the tree, it's like right oh, here, yeah, the right lead. there. Right there. It's like the color of a heart. I yeah. love it. Is it going to be a heart tree? Yes. Oh. Um. So yeah, so I'm kind of just getting into the flow today. You can see like I'm a little all over the place. This like um, eating that low, like this low vibration energy stuff, like um, my body's not quite used to it. My mind's not quite used to it. Um, so it's a little harder to put together thoughts than usual. These are the things I notice when I um, test something. So this is a test in what happens when Nicole Kelly eats a Royal Farms Italian cold cut sub with tomatoes, hots, mayonnaise, mustard, <laughs> lettuce, and a couple fries. And I could not even eat the ketchup on the fries because it was just so chemically laden. I could taste it. Um, and what happens is she has a hard time stringing together a whole video. Um, so yeah, test number one. This is why I do not consume gluten, dairy, or soy. Or, um, and now meat. I definitely would not want that meat again. I'm not sure that I would call it meat. So have a great day. I'm definitely gonna have a great day. Have I'll talk to you later. Day. Oh, Wendy wants to say something. Um, uh, one day, um, um, when we went to the store at Walmart, um, this guy said Easter candy for f for fifty dollars, and then fifty percent off. For f 50% off, huh. and then, and then mommy said no candy today, and then when we w went out, he said, did you say no candy today, and then he said, and then we said yes, and then what did we do? Then he said, then he you said, are. Then he said, you are the fittiest family that, I, that 
that I have seen in a long time. Yes, he said you're the fittest family that I've seen in a long time. It shows. He was specifically talking about Miss Giovanna and her energy and that he just noticed that she was a child who was well-balanced. And so that was really nice, wasn't it? Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye.